we're doing something a little different today. Um, we're gonna replace my Razor Panthera um, artwork with some new artwork that I just got from Focus Attack. Um, you see this? We're gonna need we're gonna need this right here, uh, and I'm just gonna kind of show you all how to do it. Um, not a lot of people have videos on how to do this. So when I was when I actually first got this right, I, it took me a minute to find videos on actually how to replace the artwork on it. Which it's it's a process. They didn't want you to do it. They like your Dragon Ball Z artwork, and I like it too. But I figured if I ever want to um, have Dragon Ball Z on there, I'll just reorder. Um, I'll just reorder it if I end up messing it up. But firstly, what you want to do is you want to take out all your buttons, which I already did. You want to take out all of your buttons, right? And then you also want to take your ball top off. So, or your joystick off, right? So the way you do that is, you fix the camera, and you're underneath it. I'm gonna take this uh, last button out. So you're underneath it, right? You're gonna get the screw that already comes uh, conveniently in it. And then we're just gonna take off our ball top. I'm gonna set that to the side. Um, and then what else we gonna do? We're gonna take off our square gate. So this little thing right here, yeah, you gotta pop this off. You gotta be very careful, because as soon as you pop this off, your spring is gonna pop out. Funny story, right? First time I actually uh, ever did this because I was I wanted to replace my spring with a heavier spring. I actually lost it. Cool. So we're gonna take all of this and put it somewhere safe so we don't lose it. I actually have a little baggie over here. I'm just gonna throw everything in my little baggie right here. my extended shaft well okay it's not an extended shaft right so i bought this piece right here can i zoom on it can i zoom it yeah. okay so this piece is a cement two piece and this piece down here is a sandwich detachable joystick because i wanted to be able to detach my joystick from whenever i you know go to i guess tournaments or whatever but anyway we're gonna put all of this to the side. I don't, think, I don't think we need to take this apart. I'm not gonna take this apart. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it, honestly. All right, cool. So now that we've done all of that, get back here. And honestly, sorry for the lighting, man. I just recently ordered some new lights. Um, and I also ordered a green screen and all of that, so production quality. For stuff like this, if we do anything like this ever in the future, it's definitely going to be uh, higher. But anyway, if you want to get one of these, you want to make sure it's, it's hot, right? Keep it hot. I had to turn it off so I can talk. So basically, what we're doing is we're going to heat this up. Because there's some adhesive underneath it that prevents you from pulling it off. So we're going to heat this up and then we're just going to peel it off uh, bit by bit. We want to try to peel it off as clean as possible. Um, some people I've seen do it actually broke the entire faceplate. I don't want to do that. Um, so hopefully we don't do that and I can keep this intact perfectly fine like it is. And maybe even use it as a wall art or something like that. I don't know.
right. That. Let me see. If I can focus in on this right here real quick. That was a process. That was a process. But luckily, I was able to do it without completely destroying it. As you can see, everything is intact. The back is very sticky. So, I mean, there's no putting this back on. But like I said, at least we can, you know, use it as, I don't know, wall art or something like that. I might even uh, do a piece where I put this on a piece of paper, glue it down, and then actually draw in, you know, the buttons and stuff like that to make it look like. Or hold on, maybe I'll even, I'll even buy some, uh, some, some button tops or whatever, right? And then put them on top of here like that. That'll be kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to put that, put this to the side, upside down. And the next thing you're going to need, you're going to need some Gooby Gone because we got to get rid of all of this right here. And with the Gooby Gone, you really want to let it sit for about 30 minutes, right? You want to uh, put it on here, let it sit for about 30 or something minutes. Uh, huh, I didn't think about that. I need some tape. I need to go find some tape. Yeah, because I don't want anything to get into here. So I need to find some tape or whatever to tape these holes up. Okay, be right back. Alright, so I was able to tape up the the eight buttons, but this right here, I don't, I don't really know how to do that. So what we're going to do though is, let's see. I'm just going to get some on it. Uh, and just start white, rubbing it off. Right. Something like that. I got the lemon scent of flavor, so it doesn't stink. All right. I think you're supposed to let it sit for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna read the box, well, the, the bottle real quick. And then see what it says, but I think that's generally what you wanna do. Okay, it said let's sit for about five to 10 minutes. Wanna, well, y'all can't see it anymore, but that's what it says on the box. Let's sit for about, or the bottle, let's sit for about five to 10 minutes. To some people real quick but hey google set a time for 10 minutes all right 10 minutes and that's starting now all 
right. And then uh, when I get when I let it sit after I let it sit for about a little ten minutes, I'm gonna make this towel a hot soapy towel. So we're gonna put some soap on it, and yep, you know, should be good with that. But um, yeah, so basically this is what you need. Uh, what helped me out a lot is having a knife, having two knives actually, right? So I had two knives. I had this knife right here, the box cutter, or you know my little box open and then I had this, this little big one here. Um, screwdrivers didn't really do much for me so I would say you don't really need that. Having a knife is much better. And then Gooby Gone is definitely your best friend because this sticky shit right here is no bueno. No bueno. And I'm not going to reveal what's in this package back here. Hold up. I'm not going to reveal what's in that package back there. Just yet. I'm gonna wait until everything is done and I'm gonna reveal it once I put it on. Cause uh <laughs> I mean this is a surprise to me too. I had it printed out. I'm not sure how it came out. Hopefully it came out dope. Hopefully. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna just keep it out here for a little bit longer. Alright, I had me a little Dokkan break. Now I let it sit for the 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to wipe it off. I'm gonna put some little elbow grease into this. Alright. Okay, it's coming off actually pretty good pretty easily actually I think just like one pass of this will probably get most of it off and I'll probably have to like kind of I don't know to use more goo uh, be gone or I probably have to use a knife or something like that to get the rest off you something though man this is a fucking process just to be able to swap out your art <laughs> on your fight stick this is a lot of work but once you do it once you won't have to do it again once you do this once you know you'll be able to do it a whole lot easier let me see I wonder if I should use like tissue paper or like um, newspaper or something like that. That would have been easier. Let me see, honestly. Yeah, this is a whole lot better. Scrape this up like that.
All right, we are golden. Um, I kind of scratched up the top, but it's cool because it's gonna be covered up with art, so that's fine. Make sure this is dried out in here a little bit. Make sure it's all Gucci if I plug anything into it. All right, we good, we good. All right, now for the big reveal. that to the side put this here all right so I ordered um, I ordered the plate as well as the art because you do need to replace this with um, a plexiglass with a with the neck with an extra piece of plexiglass that has the screws in it and I'll show you what I need in a bit so here's that piece of plexiglass right here, which goes on top of that, obviously. And I just looked at the artwork, and yeah, I fucks with it. Heavy, heavy. That's my girl biking right there. I'll show y'all a, a better uh, look in the future, well, in a bit. But right now, we got to get rid of these screws. So you want to uh, take off the five screws. One, two, three, four, five. You don't want to mess with these screws right here. You just want to get the the four in the corner and the one at the top in the middle, um, and that's basically all you want to do. And then you want to put your art on top of it, and everything is going to be golden from there. And then they're gonna they actually send you they actually send you um, some screws that you can use. Uh, they actually send you some additional screws here, right? That you can use that. Uh, that will fit because the old screws are too small. Uh, let me see. Right here, they're too small so they won't fit. So you need to uh, put in the new screws that come with the plexiglass. But yeah, we're gonna get rid of these four right here. What are these five? Got the artwork and it's really dope what they do right um focus attack and i have the description in the link below or the link in the description below but they cut out they cut these out so all you got to do is basically just pop these out bam right super simple makes it really easy like i have a professional printer at the house the only thing about it is um the ink is really expensive right Paper is expensive, and uh, I don't have one of these uh, cut-off things, so I can't like actually cut these out and make them how I want to make them. I'm, I'm kind of like one of those people who are obsessed with quality, so I know like I can, you know, buy this or whatever, right? Well, print it out at home by myself and cut it out with like a knife or something like that, but it's not what I want to do. It's not. It's not something I want to do. All right, leave it on top of there. And I think the plexiglass is a little thick, so it's always gonna be that way. It's always gonna be a lip. It is what it is, but that's the cost of actually customizing the fight stick. We'll see, take this off. Yeah, don't break the plexiglass, man, chill. You don't wanna wait for another one. Sit that on top of that like that. Ooh, it looks so good. I can't wait to. I can't wait to give y'all a better view, man. I can't wait to give y'all a better view. Hold up. Where my screws at? Here we go. It's like you got messy over here real quick, real quick. All right. Now let me see how many screws they want. They gave me six screws just in case I mess up or in case I lose one. I hope I don't lose one. 
Alright. And honestly, what I plan to do, because I because I, I copped um I copped another another artwork where I copped the cami artwork. You know, Cammy's my girl. If you've been paying attention to this channel, anytime I play Street Fighter, I play with my girl Cammy. My girlfriend actually hates when I play with Cammy because I whoop my ass with Cammy. <laughs> but um but yeah, Cammy's my girl. I got this fire, this fire Cammy, um, this fire Cammy artwork. And if uh, if it comes in before I upload this video, I'll I'll try to put in, I'll try to uh, remember to put in um, a screenshot of it or a picture of it, right? Cause I'm telling you, man, it's fire and shit. All right, so you want to screw these on? They actually give you the screw and everything. Well, the tools and everything you need, so you don't need to go out and like buy anything extra. And honestly, this was pretty cheap, man. The plexiglass was about 14. And once you buy it once, you don't need to buy it again unless you break it, uh, which hopefully you don't do. And then the artwork itself was like 12 and some change and everything plus taxes or whatever. Well, plus taxes and shipping. And then I also got this ball top to kind of go along with my buttons. Sanwa, of course. Sanwa Denshi. Honestly, I think this ball top is, uh, is the ball top. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I got a Sumetsu. I got a Sumetsu um, washer, whatever you want to call those things. This is a little tough right now. Hold up. There we go. With this artwork that I got right here, I legit just went online and typed in bike and fight stick artwork. And if I can remember the link, if I can find the link, right? I'll link it in the description below because uh, just to give whoever made this artwork um, a shout out or whatever, right? You know, give them props for doing anything. Because I mean, I like it. I, I'm using it. It looks nice. Thank you so much for showing some love to the girl biking. I know not a lot of people like biking and she might not be in Guilty Gear Strive, but it is what it is because we got Guilty Gear Exert Rev 2 that nobody plays. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my god, I can't wait to finish this and put everything together. Oh my god, it looks so good. I'm going to put the buttons in. I'm not going to worry about the, uh, the joystick just yet i'm gonna put the buttons in i'm gonna be able to so i'm gonna show you all what i'm working with all right there we go let's pop these buttons in super simple you just click them in honestly there we go I got some goo on here there we go Y'all gonna make me floss for nothing. Look at that. Imagine that. Imagine that. Ooh. Yo, honestly, I can't wait until tournaments start opening up and everything show up with this bad. Come on now. 
Come on now, we're biking. We're biking on it. We're biking on the front. Oh, come on now. Oh my God. I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. All right, we're gonna put these on. Super simple. You put it on the same way you took it off. Let me make sure everything is zoomed in real quick. Not zoomed in, but the focus actually. There we go. Using that manual focus. All right. All right, cool. Put this back in here. Like that. Spring in, and then you want to put your this this thing on right here. But we gotta find out our little homie. All right, this is the hard part. I want to try to zoom in as close as possible. So y'all can see that. I had to adjust some things over here on my end. Honestly, if I would have punched in the Super 35, that would have been a lot easier. But anyway, you gotta put this on, right? Kept on touching the gooey stuff. The goo. Don't want to touch the gooey stuff. All right. And then I'm gonna have to take my gate out. All right. Ooh. Don't want that to happen. I'll, I'll take care. Have some technical difficulties, but we should be good. All right. Now what we want to do is put this in the right way, like that, right? And then we're gonna put this on it, and then we're gonna do that. There we go. And that's a whole lot easier. I'm gonna hold on to this top right here. Yeah, actually, I want to make sure you all see that. So, let's zoom out just a little bit. Right here, I'm gonna 
hold on to this with my finger. So basically it's gonna be this, my thumb is here, pushing this in like that. I'm holding on this with my finger, just like that. We're taking this and trying our best to put it on as quick as possible. There we go. Oh, fuck. Okay, try that again. gate back on my preferred gate is the square gate sometimes I mess around with the quad gate when I can't get my quarter circles like I want to um, no sometimes I try out my octo gate when I can't get my quarter circles like I want to on my quad gate but um, from now on I'm gonna be using my quad gate so I can get better at using that because to me personally when um, I'm not doing good with the quad gate and I switch to my octo gate it's kind of like cheating because I'll never get better with this if I continue to switch it. So anyway, there we go. We're gonna do it like this. All right. That clickety click click. Soon I'm gonna get um, a blue one to match all my blue shit, but until then we're gonna put this on top of that like that. Put on our ball top. Tighten that up, and boy, boy, <laughs> that is pretty. I ain't gonna lie, that is that is pretty. Oh, y'all can't even see that. Let me see, zoom out. That is pretty. I love it so much. Yo, whoever made this uh, artwork, thank you so much. Like I said, I'm gonna try to find out where I got this from and then put it in the description below, but that is, that is gorgeous, man. Oh my God, I love it so much. I love it so much. All right, and I'm gonna put our buttons on. Okay, so this right here, this thing didn't come with um, this, I guess, these buttons. So if uh, you have PlayStation, let me see if I can zoom in and actually, yeah, there you go, put in uh, focus. They come with these buttons and I actually put these on here myself. So if you want the uh, PSD of this, let me know and I'll put it in the description below. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll actually just put the well, no, I won't. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'll put the uh, I'll put the PSD in the description below, uh, so you all can get the specific one with the buttons on it. But yeah, now the fun part. We're not done yet. And razor makes it very easy. So these right here. So you, your buttons will actually work right. You want to plug these into the different buttons. And on the razor, up here at the top, you see that they actually have different color coded uh, cords to go with the buttons. So let me see R2. I'm going to store L2, L1. L2 is black, so we find a black one. Pretty simple. L2. Here. And we just plug it in just like that. So simple. Um, L1 is white. Trying to get tangled up. L1 in, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to go through all of these with you all, but I mean, you kind of get the idea now.
So, uh, I don't know if y'all saw that right there, but I kind of messed up. I was thinking about the, uh, the R buttons, but I actually put the, um, I put the R buttons on the L buttons. Which is funny, which is a little funny, because I'm like, if they're color coordinated, you should know where to put them at. And I just put them in the wrong spot. But, um, yeah, L1 is up here. Looking nice, I like that. Let me wipe this off real quick. And before anybody put in the comments below, yes, I did paint the bottom of my fight stick. I painted it black. I just used acrylic paint, honestly. It is kind of peeling off, so I'm gonna have to go back in and redo it on some areas, but. I did paint, I did paint it black with acrylic, uh, with acrylic paint, so it could kind of match any other um, artwork that I wanted to put on top of it. But yeah, I mean, you know, that's the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, this was a bit of a longer video because it was there were so many steps to it. I had to wait a long time, but I am happy with the way it came out. Uh, definitely in the comments below let me know I'm trying to get some focus yeah definitely in the comments below let me know what you think do you like my new fight stick should I have rather should I have kept up on the Dragon Ball Z one on there like what's up let your boy know um, but yeah I like it personally I'm happy I'm about to hop on the part of play some Dragon Ball Fighters I might even play some on some Guilty Gear just because I got the girl biking on here but anyway Catch you in the next one. This has been your boy Key. Peace.